I'm Anil Kumar and this video is for my student Sophia. Sophia thanks a lot for watching my videos and asking great questions. Here we'll discuss area and perimeter of a rectangle and as usual we'll make it interesting using some blocks kind of like this. Okay. Let's begin with the very first question. It says Complete the table for a rectangle of perimeter 12 cm. In the table, we are given side 1, side 2 and area. Well, what does that mean? Let's look into it. We are talking about a rectangle. So let me make one. So let's say this is my rectangle. We want perimeter of 12 cm. 12 cm perimeter it means what it means that some of these sides length width length and width some of all these four sides should be 12 how can we do it well one way is we could have one side as 1 the other as 5 then since this is 1 that will also be 1 5 and 5 if I add them up 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 1, 7 plus 5, 12, or 5 and 5, 10, plus 2, 12. So that is one way we could do it. We could do it in different ways. We can do it like this also. If I take this side as 2, then what happens? Well, in that case, it could be 2, 4, 2, 4, right? It could be 2, 4. 2 and 4 is 6. Do you see that? Half of 12. 2 and 4 is 6, right? 6 plus 6 is 12. Do you get an idea? So, sum of two sides should be half of 12. That makes sense, right? Well, we could do 3 plus 3 is also 6. So, we could make a square with each side as 3. So if all the sides are equal, 3 each, 3 times 4 is 12, we get a perimeter of 12. Do you see that? So side 1 and side 2 could be like this. We can say width is side 1 and length is side 2. right? So we'll say side 1 is width for us. Side 2 is length for us, correct? Now, since the perimeter is given in centimeters, what should be the units? Of course, centimeters, right? So, we'll write this in centimeters. Also, side 2 in centimeters. Well, the third column here is area. Area is length into width. So, when you multiply centimeter, centimeter, it will be centimeter square. So note this difference. For area, units will be centimeter square. For the side lengths, it will be centimeters. Now I think you can fill up the table, right? It's not very difficult. Combinations could be these, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3. So we can write this as 1, side 2 is 5. For the second type of rectangle, with perimeter of 12, it is 2 and 4, and then 3 and 3. So we have three combinations. These are the only possible combinations, right? To get the area, you need to multiply them. 5 times 1, or 1 times 5, whatever, right? 1 times 5, I'll write this as 5 centimeter square. 2 times 4 equals to 8 centimeter square 3 times 3 gives me 9 centimeter square right you can write area as equal to 5 area equals to 4 times 2 as 8 area equals to 3 times 3 as 9 so what you notice here is that for same perimeter of 12 we could have different areas so which area is maximum can you tell me that? Well, the maximum area is for the square. 
when you observe 3 into 3 square. Square gives you maximum area for same perimeter. Do you understand that? That's a very important learning. Now using blocks, I can do this like this. Let me make a rectangle 1 and 5 sides. So this block has got, you see how many, what is the perimeter? 1, 2, 3, 4, area is 1, correct? If I use 5 of these, 3, 4, and 1, 5. Do you see what is the perimeter? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So that is our first case. 1 times 5. The other one is 4 times 2. So we could have 2 rows, right? And 4 columns. So kind of like this. Do you see that? Here again, we have a perimeter of 12. How do you get it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So half of 12 is 6. Do you see that? And how do you make 6? 1 plus 5, 2 plus 4, 3 plus 3. Correct. And then we could have it something like this. 3 by 3. And you see I need one additional block to fit in. That makes sense. So the area becomes from 8 to 9 when we are talking about 3 by 3 block. So do you see how for the same perimeter of 12, we could have different areas? Do you see that? Yes, you do. So let's move on and try the next example. You can have some blocks to help you out. Now this time, this is an exercise for you to do. We'll complete the table where the perimeter is 28. It's a huge number right how will you fill this up take your time pause the video answer the question right of course if the units are centimeter I will write side 1 as my width in centimeters side 2 is my length in centimeters area is length times width in centimeter square to find the perimeter what should I do well, let's try to make one rectangle first, general rectangle, right? So I'm just making one rectangle. I want this to be 28. That means what should be width plus length? Well, width plus length should be half of 28, which is 14. Now I need sum of 14, right? That is 7 and 7 is 14. Do you get it? 7 and 7 is 14. Correct. So we could start with 7 and 7. Right? So we could say side 1 is 7, side 2 is also 7. If I increase this to 8, well, I want a bigger side. Let me write 8 here. 8 plus what is 14? 1 less, right? 6. Do you see that? Or I can say 5 and what is 14? Do you see 9? So I could fill this up. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And here we get 10, 11, 12, 13. So all these combinations will give me rectangles with perimeter of 28. So that is a shortcut method for you, right? And how do you get the area? Just times them. You can use calculator at times, right? Sometimes the numbers are very big. 7 times 7, 49. 6 times 8, 48. 5 times 9, 45. 4 times 10, 40. 3 times 11, 33. 2 times 12 is 24. And 1 times 13 is just 13. So you notice that the maximum area is for what? A square this one is a square right all sides the same that gives you maximum area which is 14 do you see that so it's a very important exercise to understand that for same perimeter you get maximum area for square correct 
Well, I answered this one. Now here are two for you. Here is the third one, which is first for you to do. Complete the table for rectangle of perimeter 16 centimeters, right? Half of 16 is what? 8, half of 8 is 4. You need sum to be 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 will help you out, correct? And then the last one, 32, a big number, right? But same type of exercise. I'll appreciate if you could fill these up and show it to me. Or write your answer in the comments. Thanks and all the best. Thanks for watching and I hope this will help many other students.